What a joy it is to come again and share with you these uh, devotional moments. In the second chapter of the Gospel of Luke, beginning at verse 41, we have a case of the missing Jesus. Jesus is 12 years old. He goes with his parents to Jerusalem for the feast. The feast is over and they are returning home. They had gone a day's journey when they realized that he was not with them and they just thought, they supposed, he would be with other family and friends. They turn and, and cannot find him. They travel another day back to Jerusalem and spend a third day looking for him. They have gone three days without Jesus. It was a precursor to that time when Christ would die on the cross at Calvary and then would rise again on the third day morning. They find him in the temple. He is there conversing with doctors and lawyers. He's there conversing with those who were serious students of Scripture. And Mary sort of reprimands Jesus when she says, Why have you dealt this way with us? Your father and I were worried about you and we had to turn and come back and we've spent a whole day looking for you. And Jesus' response is, Know ye not that I must be about my father's business. Mary and Joseph leave Jerusalem without Jesus. They are day of travel on their journey when they realized he was not with them. But they had supposed that if he was not with them, surely he would be with family and friends, with others who are traveling in this caravan. They took Jesus for granted that if he wasn't with them, surely he's with other family and friends. He was not taken for granted out of evil intent. It was not some careless neglect. But they based it on the fact that he was a good son. He had never done anything to upset them so surely if he's not with us he's with other family and friends I want to suggest to you today whatever you do don't take Jesus for granted don't ever feel that if he's not with you surely he's with some family or friends don't ever allow Jesus to go missing in your life and here is a good word for us on our way back to church. When you get back to worship, don't take Jesus for granted. In your life and in your living, don't take Jesus for granted. In your family and in your career and all that you are and you are about, don't take Jesus for granted. Thank God Mary and Joseph found him. Where did they find him? They found him at the Lord's house. And if you're looking for him today, a great place to look, surely you'll be able to find him, is in the Lord's house. And when they found him, what did they do? Well, they took him back home with them. Wherever you find Jesus, don't leave him there. Take him home with you. He has a way of warming up the environment. He has a way of lightening up the atmosphere. You ought to take Jesus home with you because there may come a day when you get put out of your house. And when you get put out of your house, you don't have to worry. He'll be there to take you home to his house. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done for us through your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for the privilege of knowing you through Christ. We ask your blessings on our lives, our families, our church, and our community. For we pray and we ask it all in the wonderful name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.
couple of things I want to remind you of. One is don't forget our time of prayer on Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. and then Saturday evenings at 6 p.m. I want to remind and encourage all of those who are citizens in Fort Worth that if you haven't voted, election day is Saturday, January the 5th. I hope and trust you will cast your ballot. And then members of Mount Olive, we're back in church. Beginning this Sunday, first Sunday in June at uh, 9 a.m. Our Sunday school review will be at 8.30. And then at 9 a.m. we will begin in-person worship again for everyone. We will look forward to seeing you this Sunday morning at 8.30 for the Sunday School Review and then at 9 a.m. for worship. We will have the Lord's Supper and then for those who are not quite ready to come back to worship in person yet, we will assemble at 11 o'clock on the parking lot and serve and fellowship with you in the Lord's Supper. God bless you and you have a great day in the Lord.